today. Uh, quick introduction about me. My name is Arvind. Uh, I'm the founder of the IoT Suitcase. I also wrote a book called as Learning Ionic. Uh, there's a mobile hybrid framework called as Ionic. I wrote a book on that. It's quite simple. I'm a blogger. I blog at the Jackal of JavaScript. All funny names, I know. And uh, today we are going to talk about Internet of Things. So, as per you, what is Internet of Things? Any one answer is wrong. See, everybody raised their hands, but nobody knows the answer. That's good. Intelligent devices. Sorry? Intelligent devices. Intelligent devices. That's a good answer. Anybody else topping that up? No? Same thing. Sorry? Interconnected devices. Okay, good. So, basically, Internet of Things is connecting your electrical, your electronic, or your mechanical devices to the internet so that they can talk to each other. That's it. That is IoT. There's nothing more than that. You have a chair, and if the chair wants to talk to the internet, that's called as Internet of Things. That's it. So that's what we are trying to do right now. Even in a simpler term, right, what exactly is Internet of Things? It's when your washing machine or your oven calls you up and tells that, you dude, I'm done. Okay, so this is all Internet of Things is all about. There's nothing more than that. So the you know how industry creates all these differences and you know everything, but this is all IoT is all about. What you guys are going to do in the next two days is that take a chair, put a weight sensor on it, so that you can see who is sitting on it wherever you are in the world. Right? That's what you're trying to do. That's IoT is all about. How old do you think is IoT? Since how many years, decades was IoT there? 10 years? Anybody else? 5 years? Anybody else? Any other number? Wild, wild. Come on guys, wild guesses. Any other numbers? It's there since 30 years. Yeah, see? Wow, I love the gasp. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, the first IoT device, documented IoT device was first implemented in 1982 in Carnegie Mellon University by four graduates of the college. So what they did was they took a Coke machine. I googled it, I got this Coke machine. I don't know if this is that same Coke machine. But they connected this Coke machine to the internet protocol, the TCP IP, and they were able to monitor what was the stock, how many are there uh, cold, how many of them are not cold, and so on. Remember, the first web page was created in 1991. This happened in 1982. I was not even born then. I hope most of the guys here are not. So, that was the first device. The next device which happened was around 1989. This guy's name is John Romkey. So what he did was he took a toaster and he made it connected to the internet. Again, even at this time also the first web page was not even created. So this is the time when he connected this to a TCP IP and wrote something called as SNMB and MIB to turn the toaster on and off. Of course, you still need somebody to put the bread in, but still it's an internet device. Another example is called is the Trojan Room Coffee Pot. Anybody heard about this? Anybody heard about the word Trojan? What is that? Virus, right? <laughs> Trojan is not a virus, okay? Okay, so anyway, so this was another device which was developed at the University of Cambridge in uh, 1993. This was the first use case of the web technologies, right? When uh, Tim Berners-Lee created the web page, so this is what he did. So what they had was they had a Trojan room inside their computer lab inside the Cambridge University. What they have done is that they have a coffee pot. So what they are trying to do is that whenever the coffee pot is empty, somebody has to go and refill it. Right? So they wanted to do a remote monitoring from a pantry room to the computer laboratory so that whenever the coffee pot is empty, somebody can go and you know fill it up. So this is how it used to do it. It used to take pictures, th three pictures every minute and then upload it to the server. Right? So this was, these are some of the internet, interesting Internet of Things solutions. And you guys thought how old was Internet of Things? Five years, ten years, it was there since thirty years. So this is the basic history of Internet of Things. Point is that we have gone through a phase where necessity was never a mother of invention. It's laziness is the mother of invention. If you want to see who is at the main door, how many of you actually go get up and see? Or would you actually have a camera at the front door and you open your mobile app and you want to see? Right? So what we are trying to achieve is the basic laziness, what we all thought it would be nice to have. So this is what we are heading at, the laziness is the mother of invention for these days. 
so for the internet of things we saw some of the interesting use cases right that was already done in the past that we have already seen in today's world so what are the possible use cases the first thing i want to hit is the nail on the head is about the healthcare so this is one area where a lot of people are working on to create solutions to monitor a lot of things you have disabled people you have old people you want to monitor somebody remotely and see how they are doing maybe a baby in the cradle in the next room or whatever it is solutions regarding things like that right that comes under the umbrella of iot these days uh, you get the pacemakers that fit into your heart you need not go to doctors for checkup the pacemakers have devices inside them which keep sending information to the hospital telling if the heart is fine or not right imagine how much time you save with these things but but you are a robot then remember that you are not a human being anymore so this is what we are heading towards right now with the internet of things from the healthcare perspective looking at the home automation side right you guys must know everything about home automation right from safes coffee machines garbage management television ovens acs whatever you can switch it on switch it off manage do anything with it you want the next part which you guys are here for is smart cities right how many of you here came with an idea to develop a idea have an idea for the hackathon one two three so you guys are still looking for ideas the other people right so there are some areas which are quite interesting in the uh, smart cities area right one is your traffic monitoring system or traffic management system where you get notifications based on which route you are taking how much traffic is there something like what google does these days right so whenever you switch on your map you do that but that needs to be tightly integrated with your vehicle also right so that's something which i'm looking at street light solutions one of the demos which i bought i hope it works is about a street lamp solution that we built for one of the gated community in hyderabad so i thought it would be a nice showcase for you guys to see what we have actually done next another area is waste management uh, parking system air, air quality and so on so these are some of the areas in the uh, what do you call home automation space which you guys can think about on doing all these things there are so many other things which you can do with internet of things right from agriculture fashion home automation you have got trackers smart pets smart bed how many of you here know how to build a device that can feed your fish when you are away yeah see you guys should know how to feed your fish when you are away so that's the idea so the point is that we are looking at devices like this where you can remotely switch on a app and then monitor your house open doors not open doors do whatever it is the point is that with internet of things you connect any device on the face of the earth to internet and control it via that okay so how do you actually iotify a thing right i i think i coined the term iotify but somebody else used it before me but anyways so you take a machine okay any machine you want any device you want a table a chair a pen anything you want you add a sensor to that okay and then that sensor starts transmitting data to the internet when this whole equation is com completed you get your solution for your iot product so one example which i have given you was the chair let's say that you have a chair at your home which you don't want anybody to sit on okay but if somebody sits on it you want to be notified about that right so how will you do that you put a weight sensor under the chair when somebody sits on it the sensor triggers it sends an information to the internet you get a notification on your mobile app immediately you will switch on the camera inside your house and see who is sitting on your couch right imagine laziness is the mother of invention now you believe me right <laughs> yeah so this is how you do all your iot products so where do we guys fit in as the iot suitcase so you guys understood about iot right now right so what it can do what is its potential and so on but where do we fit in our primary thing is that we are trying to solve three main problems in the world today okay the first problem we are trying to solve is that as of today there are so many vendors who can provide you iot solutions okay there are hardware only solutions and there are software only solutions in the market but there are very few end to end solutions which have a combination of hardware and software you take google cloud you take ibm cloud you have raspberry pi you have atmega but how do you interface them what kind of problem you have what solutions you need the second problem we are trying to address is the time and effort you need to integrate and manage these solutions you have an idea connecting a chair to the internet how long will you take to create a sensor put it on that what cloud will you interface with it what is the analytics what is the protocol so many things go into the picture right we are trying to eliminate this need from you finally again as i asked you earlier how many of you actually switch get up switch on the fan when it is hot 
sit down and then again get up and switch it off when it is cold. We are in 2015, you should stop doing that now. Okay? <laughs> we don't want uh, doing manual things even today also. Remember laziness, mother of invention. So the more lazy you are, the more things you keep inventing. So this is another problem we are trying to solve with our product. So we are trying to present a unified solution that actually integrates you know, your hardware, your software, your applications and everything and then build a solution. So this is what we are offering as an IoT suitcase. I'll probably give you a quick demo, I hope it works. And then uh, we have a cloud solution, that's our own proprietary. We have our, we have our own hardware, which I'm going to show you right now. We have our own mobile app, we have our own analytics and real-time data management engine. Everything is integrated. All you need to come to us and say that, hey Arvin, you know what, I want to IoTify this table, what should I do? We give you one device, you put it on the table, your job is done. You open a console, see your output, if somebody tries to shake the table itself, you'll get the information. So that's how, what kind of a system we are trying to build so that you guys can build the use cases. You guys can work on the product itself and not the nitty gritties around it, right? So that's what we are offering. It's called as Internet of Things Platform as a Service. The whole Internet of Things, we are offering it as a platform. This is what we are trying to do, where you focus on building something <coughs> awesome and we take care of managing it for you, right? So let me see if I can give you guys a demo, which I promise. So this is our dashboard where we collect all the metrics and everything related to this thing. The demo which I'm going to showcase right now is kind of broken in this resolution. I should fix that. Okay, so the solution which I'm trying to showcase today since this is the theme of this event is a smart cities project. We're going to show you an intelligent street light. So this is a very broken down version of the street light what we are trying to sell for the gated communities. The street light what we have is going to have a light. Uh, I hope you guys can see this um, here. So this is having a street light and a few sensors attached to that right now. So imagine a street lamp which is coming on your main road and then you have a sensor attached to that and a street lamp, okay? So using your real-time dashboard and your metrics engine, you can actually see what is the temperature and humidity on the road at that moment, okay? And then you can turn your light on and off. I hope it works. Did it work? It worked. Thank God. No, no. Thank, thank technology. So that's how a light turns on and off. Okay, you guys can see this. So this is basically the. I don't want to shake it. Yeah. So this is how you do it with your. I know that. That's why I don't want to shake it. <laughs> okay. I guess it's playing with me now. So this is how we do this solution. So using this, right, you can have a sensor. This is one example of a street lamp and one example of a sensor where you can deploy the street lamp, get the notification. The ideal solution, what we are trying to push it to the gated communities is that this is going to have a web camera, an air quality sensor, a push-to-talk notification, a Wi-Fi hub, everything built into one street port. That's what we are selling to the gated community as of today. So that, you know, one pole you deploy, like five, every five ordinary poles, you deploy one smart pole, your whole community is IoT5, right? So that's the kind of solution we are trying to do. Let me show you the... So we have an integrated mobile app that should technically work. So the same thing which you can monitor your app from, that's actually replaying from my phone. So you can see the same temperature. The temperature is 29 degrees. The machine is wrong, which you see. So 29 and the humidity is 39 right now. So here, whatever light we have, you can actually control it from your mobile app. If you may, I can, I'll actually control it from here so that you put it. Switched off? Yeah. It takes time. The network is slow. I can give you so many reasons why it's not going to work. <laughs> but anyways, so that's how you actually have this. So we provide you this integrated solution where you have a mobile app, your dashboard, real-time analytics engine, a hardware. All you need to do is that take a piece of our sensor and put it on your system and then it's IoT5. So it's up to your idea, right? Your idea says that we want to do this. We have the solution stack for that. So that's what we are trying to portray in the IoT suitcase. Uh, but so this is what we do. We eat, sleep, IoT, and repeat. Sure. Thank you so much.